Hey, what's up? This is Brosis Effect. I'm Michael. This is my sister, Nicole. And we're back at you with another video. This is going to be the part two to the unicorn. Charlie the Unicorn, the grand finale. So this is Charlie the Unicorn, grand finale, part two. Even though I said that before, but it's okay. We're going to... I need to say in every possible combination so you guys get it in your heads. Now, as we saw in the previous video, we saw a lot of things happen, and now they're on their way to go fix it, even though Nicole is theorizing that they were the cause of it, and that's probably another ploy to get Charlie to die, so we will see. What do you think it's going to be about? What do you think is going to happen? Yeah, like you said, we saw, you know, the weird, mysterious, like, blobby cube thing, and the weasels, Norwell died from it, so we know the unicorns are taking Charlie there on a rainbow, and I just don't think anything good will come for Charlie. There, no, they're nothing just ever like good looking comes. Back at them, like, uh -huh. The one thing I predict is there will be another musical number. For sure, and obviously, <laughs> yeah, I don't think Charlie really has a choice, you're right, even if he said no. They would just, sure just sweep him up anyway. Up. Yeah, he, doesn't, just... he doesn't have a say, he just has to, like he said in the last one, they killed him a week ago, so they're just so going to keep killing him. him. Ago, I'm pretty sure he said they killed him, but... He said they attempted to. Oh, well, I'm I'm shocked that he hasn't died multiple times. Yeah, he's uh, he's got like nine lives, right? Yes. All right. Well, without further ado. Oh, great. More blood. Charlie. Charlie. That voice. Are you done washing all that blood off your body? No. There was a lot of blood. Yes, there was a lot of blood. All over my body. Blood of blood. Are you done now, Charlie? Ugh. Whatever. It's good enough. Yeah! Welcome Yay! to Magic City. City of Magic. Hi, I'm Mayor Slav. That's right, that Slav. Before I was the humble mayor of this great city, I was the humble CEO of Slav Industries, the world's most successful generalized intermediary service, providing employment for hundreds of thousands of low-income workers. Is just the person that right there? Workers to hundreds of thousands of labor-seeking customers. I don't know. Combining... Welcome, employer employee. Please state your appointment authorization code. Oh, uh. Slav yourself. Code accepted. Welcome, Nix and YX. Yeah, it's like a bird slave industry. Slave. How can you expect to build a successful company that doesn't technically do anything? Well, they forgot about you. They forgot about all your hard work. They forgot the sense of community that arises when you're both employee and employer. You sell your labor and you hire the labor of your friends, all with the help of Papa Slav. And now that Slav Industries and our great city are one entity, that process is easier than ever. So as both your mayor and your benefactor, let me just say, I'm very busy. You have three minutes. Thank you for meeting with me, Mayor Slav. Yes, well, I received your letter and found it quite sensational. The thing that was unleashed, I believe it may travel here to Magic City. City of Magic? Uh, what? The city's name is Magic City, colon, City of Magic. Oh. I'm the mayor. These things are important. Anyway, I believe the being is a sort of magic siphon, gaining power from Quick those Quick question. Things. Sorry to interrupt. Can we harness this siphon? No. I mean for money, not evil. Money. No. Go on. Your city has the highest concentration of magical beings in the world. If I were looking for more magic to absorb, this would be the first place I'd hit. Yeah, I think you're exactly right. In fact, I think they've already arrived. Really? When? A few hours ago. They murdered me. They what? They murdered me, and now they're puppeteering my dead body to speak to you. Oh. Yes, it's true. I'm a corpse puppet. It's gross, but electable. What do you want? Oh, you've already got that all figured out, but it won't matter. Did you know the mayor threw your letter in the garbage? Look, there's a banana peel on it. That's hilarious. Are you going to kill me? No, no, not you. Not yet. I want you to watch everything fall apart. He said there. Including... Oh, so God. there's multiple people behind this. Maybe stuff. multiple unicorns? It's okay that you're freaking yeah, out. Yeah, you probably are right. Where you're going. You're traveling with murderers on your way to, best case scenario, another murderer. Also, you haven't eaten today. At what point does this all stop happening? 
God, I could go for an apple or something. It's hard to think. I'm so hungry. All right, well, gotta open your eyes at some point, Charlie. Gotta continue living this nightmare. Ugh. Is this rainbow of a dining car? Charlie, look! It's a lovely swan! Ah! Uh, what a big, beautiful boy! Sure. Oh my! It's a sensuous golden eagle! Strong. Wow, that is a bird. Strong. Look at those luscious beak lips! Grazi. An emu! What a rare treat! <laughs> What's that big old boy doing up here? <laughs> you don't have to kiss me. All right. Whoa, is that the dreaded condor? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, no. Blah, blah, blah. Be careful with this spicy girl. She might... Oh. She might what? Why did everything stop? Is this what she might do? Charlie, my love, my sweet. Starfish, you're I looking... love starfish. Oh, I forgot about really starfish. Bad. How are you still alive? You need magic to survive what is to come. Okay. I found this enchanted mollusk, the last of its kind. You must absorb it, Charlie. Absorb it, and mollusk magic is yours. I would rather not do that. The mollusk and you must merge, Charlie. You must fuse together like colliding stars. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, yuck. Yes, the mollusk is now part of you forever, Charlie. You will never be rid of it. Farewell, we shall meet again. I love you more than ever. Yeah, see ya. I give you a big old spicy kiss. Oh, now you're married and you're gonna have a baby. <laughs> so, okay, I'm done. I'm out. No, you're not. You're gonna sit through the rest. It's Norwell. Oh, the it's you. Yes, and you. I'm not waiting for you or anything. I'm just dead and lost. How goes the world? Magic City has fallen. Magic City, city of magic has fallen. Bleak news indeed. Nearly everyone there is dead or a dead flesh puppet. I feel like I don't actually want to hear about this. That's fine. I don't think I want to talk about it. How'd you get a keyboard? I was crying in the woods and accidentally scared an old musician to death. His gear followed him into the afterlife, and in the confusion of it all, I just sort of yoinked it. Oh. I've been going through a bit of a crisis. I can understand that. Would you like to hear a song? Full disclosure, I'm not very good, and I don't handle criticism well. Sure, why not? <clears throat> I bought myself a coat. A brand new shiny coat just the other day. I went into the shop and saw this big coat hanging there. And they looked at me with their smooth coat body and said, I've led a hard life as a coat. I'm not actually new, I'm an old coat. If I look new, it's because we are in love. That's right, you and me. We're in love, you and a coat, me. Life can be terrible when you're a coat. That's Bruh. me, I'm a coat and stuff spirit. But the winds, they're changing. You're taking me home to a brand new life, a better life. I love you. False, I, I still need a coat. A normal, lifeless coat, one for me to wear. I love my coat husband. Yes, that's right, we got married, but still. I also need a regular coat for inclement weather. <laughs> it can be hard when you're a coat, and your husband is cold, and there's no coat, and you'd let him wear you around if you could, but you actually can't, because of the terms of the witch curse that brought you to life, which can be terrible without a coat like me. I'm a coat, but not one he can wear. So the journey continues. The journey called marriage, and the journey called shopping for some clothing. The moral of this story is: we're married, and we kiss a ghost and a coat, and it's fine. It's great. Get out of here if you don't like it. We do other stuff too that I'm not going to talk about. But that's it. That's the song. Bruh. Nicole, why are we watching this? That was lovely, Norwell, and, uh... I'm a coat. I don't have a name. Well, the song was lovely. Thank you. Oh, hey, Magic City, City of Magic fell. You know anyone there? My father is dead. That's it? Is there a part three? I don't know. I only thought there was a part one and a part two. I guess we're gonna have to find out. Otherwise, that's a really abrupt ending to a finale. So that one was interesting because we really didn't progress too much. I mean, now we know that whatever this thing is headed to the Magic City, City of Magic, and now everyone's, I think he said like flesh sacks or like they're all yeah, dead. Yeah, they're basically possessed. Yeah. They're murdered and then their bodies are being used as puppets. 
And, and uh, Charlie uh, merged with a magic conch from the starfish that I forgot about. That, that. we was love. love with them. Yes, that was the best starfish. That's and they're awesome. still on their way, though. They haven't really made it there. So I think maybe at the time, only two parts were out when I had prepared these. But I thought it was interesting. The song with the coat was funny. <laughs> it was really funny, you know, falling in love with a coat that you can't wear and still needing to find a coat. So once again, it was entertaining, but I still feel like there's more. What is going to happen? What is the significance of the conch and Charlie? So there better be a part three. If it's already out, we'll check it out. If not, we'll just have to wait patiently. Or a part four or a part five, you know, you never know how this long it's This could just go forever. It could gonna, be the never ending finale. This could be an entire movie, the rate it's going, <laughs> honestly. I mean, you know, Charlie the Unicorn is a very interesting guy, and I kind of, I'm finding, you know, guilt for him. I feel guilty that I can't help him. Uh, you know what I mean? No. We you can't all be heroes. We're, I'm a hero, so, yeah. Let us know what you think. Comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye!